Hello everyone. Today we will be looking at bubble sort technique for strings. Now, if there are 15 names or 15 strings are given in an array, we are supposed to sort them in an ascending order using bubble sort technique. So how will we go? Let us proceed. We know the basic prototype of each Java program. We have to write import java.util.scanner. Then we will give the class name of our choice. Now I will give bubble for string in public static void main and scanner class. Now I will declare string array. So I will write string args, sorry, string a is equal to new string 10 or 15 or 5, it's your choice. Okay. You declare the array of string to store 10 names. Here in the question, 15 is given. We have to sort 15 names. So we will write. 15. Now, first thing is we will take the array from the user. How to take array from the user? Using for loop. All array based question requires for loop. Enter 15 names. This is just a message we are printing and now we will run the for loop. For i is equal to 0. Why 0? Because array indices starts from 0 and i less than a dot length what is a dot length a dot length will give me 15 the length of the array and strictly less than means value of i will go from 0 1 2 3 4 till 14 it will go because total of 15 elements now in this, I will take the array a of i is equal to s dot next line or only the word if you are taking. So I will write s dot next. It's your choice. Very important point to note down is for loop is must for taking the array and a of i is equal to s dot next line. We don't have to simply write a. Why? Because we are writing it in an array. We are writing it for array. We are taking 15 values in array labeled A. Okay. Now we will do sorting. Okay. First let us declare the variable int i comma j that we will need. Now see, we know for bubble sort, two for loops are there that we have to remember i less than or equal to a dot length i plus plus for bubble sort, it is a dot length minus 1. Then we have to run the j loop for j is equal to 0, j less than a dot length minus 1 minus i and j plus plus. Okay. These two for loops you have to remember for bubble sort technique. i will go from 0 to a dot length minus 1 j will go from 0 to a dot length minus 1 minus i. What is a? Name of the array. In the for loop, what will we compare? See, if it is the array of integer, we used to write a of j greater than a of j plus 1. Bubble sort for integers, how to do? There is a separate video which you can watch. Here, we don't have to sort numbers we are supposed to sort what strings so you have to write a of j dot compare to function in bracket a of j plus one if this compare to is greater than zero if a of j dot compare to we will put this in a bracket See carefully what I'm what I'm doing. A of j dot compared to a of j plus one. This bracket is over. Whose bracket is this? This one. Whole compared to. If you don't put bracket, then also it is okay. This is just for our understanding. This extra brace I have put here and here. You can keep a of j dot compared to a of j plus 1 if it is greater than 0. Now, if you write greater than 0, then you are sorting it in ascending order. If you 
want to sort it in descending order then just simply write less than zero okay now if they are then we have to write p is equal to we will do swapping p is equal to a of j a of j is equal to a of j plus 1 and a of j plus 1 is equal to p what are we doing we are swapping the elements means the name which alphabetically appears first will come to first position which appears last will go to the last position and so on it will be arranged in an alphabetical order what is t t is a temporary variable which we will use for swapping so this is the way we can do bubble sort for string for loop remains same the one which we have written for integer array same but here only the part comparison will change okay a of j dot compared to a of j plus 1 if it is greater than 0 then we have to do swapping after that we will print the sorted array system out dot print ln the sorted array is and then we will again write the for loop remember for loop is required for taking the array for calculation here we wanted to do what sorting and again it is required for printing now we will print the array a of i the program is done Public static void main is over, class is over, it is already there. We will save this program and we will comment the question. Now let us run. Enter 15 names. Now I will enter. I am not writing whole name. I am just simply typing the letters. You can write the names. is asking for 15 names now see if i see the sorted one it is in a sorted a then c then letter d then letter d f f g h p q then q q s s a s a m what does it mean it is coming in a sorted manner so in this way we have to take the array from the user i took the array using for loop then bubble sort technique remains same for loop for double bubble sort we wrote the for loop for bubble sort after that we have to write this line line number 42 is very important for string we have to write this and then we have to do swapping after sorting we have to print the sorted array thank you